So in this video, we're looking at creating table layouts in Dreamweaver. Now, you may use this when you're creating a website in general, although it's not the standard practice nowadays. However, if you are doing the IGCSE Cambridge ICT, then you will have to use tables for your layouts. So in your exam, you'll be given a layout like the one that you can see on the screen now. So you'll be given some specifications um, of a layout that your website needs to be. So the first thing you need to do is make this table. Now the primary job you need to do is count how many rows you need and how many columns you need. So the best way to do this is to look at the maximum number of rows and the maximum amount of columns because we can merge cells like in Excel. So as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows and one, two, three columns. So we go into Dreamweaver, we go to insert table and we've got six rows and three columns and then we look at how wide it needs to be. So 600 plus 300, I'll look at the bottom cell, we can see that it's 900 pixels wide. So 900 pixels, we press OK. Now next thing we need to do is start merging the cells as we need them. So as you can see, we've got one big one here and a big one at the bottom, so I can highlight these cells, right click, table, merge cells, get these ones to the side, right click, table, merge cells, and the top one here needs merging too. So right click, table, merge cells. Now once we've done that, we can use the properties bar at the bottom, right here, to start changing the width and height of each of the boxes to make sure it fits our specification. So if I just split, split my screen like that, and I start with this bottom one here, it needs to be 900 moved by 80 not 800. This one needs to be 300 by 1000. We've then got this one here, which needs to be 600 by 200. So 600 by 200. Now, the rest of the cells, these ones here are 300 by 300. So I can highlight them both and go 300, 300. Just gonna zoom out slightly. These two here are 300 by 100. And these two here are 300 and 300 again. And then we've got 300 and 100. So that is our layout complete. As you can see, it looks very similar, if not the same, and the measurements will be spot on then. If you want to view it as a web page with what you've got so far, you can click the globe button here, preview in Chrome, save it if you need to, and then you can see